Hey, what's up guys? Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. In today's video, we're going to learn how to do a blur effect just like this. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Maybe it's your email address and you're doing videos on YouTube like I do and you just don't want everyone to see it. So you can just blur it out just like this. If you enjoy this content, please give the video a like, comment below any questions or comments you have and make sure you hit subscribe. Let's jump onto the computer. All right, so here we are in iMovie and we're gonna add our blur effect. But first of all, we need to go and get a blur effect. And for that, we're just gonna jump across to Google. I'm sure there's other places you can get a blur effect, but we're just gonna get one from Google Images. And something like this is completely fine. It's gonna do exactly what we want it to do. So we'll just download this and then go back into iMovie. So when we're back in iMovie, let's just go up here and we're just gonna download an image. So we've got this downloaded. And then all you're going to do is actually create the section that you want to download the image from. So we're just going to add that to the section. So I've split the clip here and this is where I want to put it over this part, which was at the start of this video. We'll just drag it down here to cover that area and just trim it back to where we want it. Now you just come up here and press on this one here, overlay. So we've just clicked on video overlay setting and then we're just going to go to picture in picture here in the drop down. And what we're going to do is resize this and move it over the bowl in this case. In this next part up here, you're just going to type in zero, then click away. And that will blur out that image. So if we just go back down here and play the video. As you can see, that is one way to clear it out and it's disappeared. I could obviously edit that a little bit better, but at least it's shown you guys one way that you could just blur something out. Alrighty, so let's look at it another way to do it that is a bit more effective. So let's go to the start of this here and we'll cover this part of the ball. So we're at the start of this frame and we're just gonna go Shift Command 4 and then we're gonna press and hold over it, which takes a screenshot. Then we're gonna go over to Canva. So we're gonna go create a design and then we're gonna go custom size down here and we're gonna go 100 by 100, create new design. Next, we're gonna go over and upload that screen grab. So we'll go upload media. We'll upload it, we'll click on it and then we'll drag it to fit this size. Next, we're gonna click on this and then we're just gonna come up to adjust on here and it's got a slider here for blur. So we're gonna click that across so it's blurry because you can imagine if this was someone's face or if it was a number plate or password, you just wanna make it nice and blurry so no one can see it. And then we're just gonna go up and hit download. Now we just go back into iMovie and we're gonna import that graphic. Then we're just gonna grab that and drag it down to the first frame of the video clip that we wanna go over. So we'll click on overlay tool again, and then we'll click on the drop down to go picture in picture. Then we'll change this to zero. Next, we're gonna click on the cropping tool here and select fit instead. So this is where it gets a bit tough, but what we're gonna do is because this is moving, it can be a little bit tedious. We're just gonna move it over the first frame. So next we're gonna press this keyframing tool up here and then that's gonna lock in the first frame and then we need to go across and readjust each time. So press across with the right arrow on your keyboard and this can take a while so you have to just keep pressing across on each one. My face looks cool in this one. <laughs> So then if we click back to the start of this and play it, you can see that I've got it covered for that whole section, which is, it's not perfect, but obviously I'm rushing it just doing the tutorial, but you guys can see that it does work. And that's how it's done on iMovie, how to blur still objects like I did at the start of this video and how to blur moving objects like I've just shown you in this section. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope this video helped you out. iMovie blur effect, how to blur images still and moving in iMovie. Please give the video a like for me. Comment below if it helped you. If you have any questions, please hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.